so the indie game scene is full of hidden gems. And once in a while, it's important to shine a light on them thanks to the style, gameplay, or sheer inventiveness of what a small team, even sometimes just one developer, can do. Today's video is one such title as we shine our indie game spotlight on Vomitorium, the best game you've never played. Long ago, a plague of eldritch infection threatened to consume our world via the invasion of a nightmare creature from beyond the stars. At that time, three factions of heroes were able to ward off the creature and prevent oblivion. But one year later, the creature returned too powerful to be quelled, and those heroes fell. Now, as a being constructed of ash and discarded souls called the Nephilim, it's up to you to overcome the beast named Vomitorium and save what is left of the world. This is Vomitorium a 90s throwback retro shooter that features an interesting aesthetic, high-speed gunplay, and Metroidvania level design and gadgets. It also takes inspiration from the Dark Souls series in certain aspects of its level design. If you're a fan of games like Quake and Doom, then Vomitorium is a hidden gem that you should check out. Here are a few of the things that make Vomitorium special. The unsettling world of Vomitorium is brought to life with blocky pixel art that is inspired by the paintings of surreal Polish artist Zdzisław Bekszynski. The artist's terrifying visual style is present throughout the game. From the character designs to the areas you'll traverse, huge mouths with large teeth vomit waterfalls of blood, unnerving enemies roam fungus and flesh-covered grounds, and the characters who are on your side are just as terrifying as those against you. Everywhere you look in Vomitorium, there's something to make your stomach turn. After a quick introduction, Vomitorium lets you loose in its world. There's little to no hand-holding here, and you'll have one guiding principle when the world opens up to you. Explore. Some areas are inaccessible at first, but a quick detour will usually reward you with a new piece of equipment that will allow you to reach that area. But be careful, there could be a new creature behind every door, and your Nephilim character is fairly fragile, even with health upgrades. He is a collection of souls fused together after all. You'll have a trusty pistol at first to combat these monsters, and this weapon can fire as fast as you can click the left mouse button, so turbo clickers will feel right at home. Other equipment you'll come across includes a powerful block-breaking gauntlet, and items that give you double jump and dash capabilities. You'll need all of your weapons, equipment, and skills to take on Vomitorium's many boss battles with frightening demons and monsters. If you've spent time in any Dark Souls game, you'll know the incredible feeling of walking through a door in one place and ending up in a completely different one. Vomitorium uses this concept as a core game design. It's a freely explorable world that contains many different biomes and places of interest, and they're all connected without load screens or selection menus. This combined with the nightmare-inducing art and textures make progressing through Vomitorium a visually diverse experience, and one that'll stay with you long after you click on Quit Game. Vomitorium's story is delivered to you through text and art at the start of the game, but the world and lore continue to be expanded upon as you play. The areas you explore will have remnants of past events, and new locations will contain new clues about the true nature of this world. Players who want to run through levels blasting monsters and moving forward are free to do so, but taking the time to take in your surroundings will make Vomitorium a more rewarding experience. What did S35 Gaming score Vomitorium out of 5? We'll get to that in a bit, but first. Fans of retro shooters will find a lot to love in Vomitorium. It has all the fast shooting action and challenging combat encounters of Doom and the gadget-based progression you can expect from games in the Metroidvania genre. Combine that with tight gameplay and lovingly crafted pixel art, a foreboding atmosphere, and horrifying creature design, and you get a game that is more than worth your time. Vomitorium is available on Steam for $9.99 at the time of this video. Our rating is 3 out of 5. What is your favorite retro shooter? Let us know in the comments, but always, be kind. And while you're here, why don't you check out our Sniper Elite video, because it's for when blasting Nazis is all you live for. I'm Mike Golchinski, and I'll see you in the next video.